I would say it's about time we start annexing Bellica here. So let's get started on that and welcome back everybody to some post phenom here. And EU4, we're going to get some claims on these guys. I don't know why I have not been using my uh, my spy network to do such a thing. We should, we should do that. So let's go ahead and do that. And um, yeah, so we need to kind of decide what we want to do today. We can build a great project. I'm not going to do that. Not for them. Uh, we've already got the Kothon at tier three. So we are thriving on that. We could upgrade this guy here. This would give us some uh, caravan power and trade efficiency, which is always really, really good. But at the same time, I should probably up my fort line because we do still have quite, oh, oh my gosh, that devastation or the uh, prosperity. North Africa looking real good. Nordenvik looking real good up there as well. Religious tension is still kind of hovering. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's see here. I don't know if it'll fire. We'll see. We will see. Alrighty then. So definitely should get some more of these buildings because our manpower is uh, is hurting. I know we could, you know, you could lean into a little bit more Merc, Merc play. I'm pretty sure we actually get a Merc. No, we don't. Oh, we get 10% cap to infantry ratio at the end. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Tech cost. All right. Unique ideas are good. I like them. I made them, but I made them a long time ago, to be fair. This uh, Carthaginian ideas, as far as I know, are from uh, Ancients Reborn, which is a mod I made like two years ago or something like that. Feels like it's been forever. All right, cool. So our Navy is over here. We're fighting some rebels. I'm getting killed by rebels over there. Let's have these guys brought over, Nya. And let's have these guys brought down, Nya. Obviously, we need to handle our rebels. We have more rebels looking to fire. Bellasite pheasant, peasants, pheasants. The birds are rising up. <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying the run so far. Thank you for the awesome support on the first few episodes. I'm, I'm recording this a bit of time um ahead of time like at least a week ahead of time so you know i'm always appreciative i'm i'm finally able to see content from their replies and stuff from the first few episodes and you guys seem to really appreciate the mod and i am very thankful for that because i'm pretty happy with it like i said in the last episode we hit 15,000 subscribers in one week which is uh pretty nutty if i'm being honest governing capacity is always appreciated Let's see what else we got oh what do heck? Oh, there's a bug. I found a bug for sure. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll have to fix that. All right. Uh, prosperity growth is good, but we don't need it. Promote cultures. Nah. State of Union. Global trade power. Merchant Republic. Mechanics. Vassals. Transferring trade power to you. Higher state governing cost. Cheaper trade companies. Can place trade posts. We actually already can do that. So I'll just, we'll just go with the governing capacity. That is fine. Yeah, I actually can already do trade posts over here. Speaking of, I should do that. I mean, I want to get my admin up and all that stuff, but trade posts are cool. It's like super, super cheap. Um, let's partial state this so I can add these guys to the uh, upgrade those guys because we're still there's still lots of money we could have. Oh, looks like our friends over in Illyria are making moves into Macedonia as well. Poor Necrot getting a nice big hug. They would accept the vassalization though. I could do it. I could totally do it. I'm not going to, though. We've already got so many subjects. So when is our truce with these guys up? How long shall it last? 12. So 10 more years. We'll see what we can do here. I will probably go exploration for my next idea group. It just makes sense. It just makes common sense. Harsh life on the ocean. Lose some sailors. Oh, no. So tragic. There we go. Get some uh, some more cannons on our stuff here. I've got some cores. Um, yeah, we might as well just core it up. I wanted to possibly get it into a trade company, but I think it's I think it's actually fine doing it what we're doing right now. Letting our war exhaustion tick down a bit. All is well with that. Those guys are dead. Crete and Veneri, Veneria. Where are Veneria? Let's recall you. Where is Crete? Or where is Venaria? Um, Venaria. Okay, I can handle those, no problem. Let's 
So we'll just defensively fight these guys here. Have these guys brought over via boats. Control right click. All right, now it doesn't matter. Now we got them loyal. Uh, I guess we'll go with the Republican tradition. Fine by me. And that is those rebels handled. Very good. Uh, I got more rebels looking to pop in over here. So let's get you guys over there. And Naxosian as well, apparently. So let's just have those guys brought over here. These guys can just chill here, I suppose. Still handling these provinces that got sieged down. There you go. And uh, these guys are getting annexed, so that all is well. We can yoink some crown land. We probably should do that. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Need to get that up as high as possible. And uh, we can now go with probably Kusor, like I had mentioned before. We haven't gone through a round of tech just yet. Let's go ahead and go with Kusor. This music is also entirely too loud. I apologize for that. I'm sure I would have lowered it in uh, post, but you know. Either way, these guys are getting beat up on. What do you say? Oh, Sardinia. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. They will be high. How much do they cost? Yeah, we wouldn't even be able to full annex them. You know what? I think it's about time, though I think I should probably get a fort built up over here. Oh, crap. It's all grasslands. Yeah, I think we just have to forfeit this land over here. <laughs> so this is fine. Um, let's uh, let's have these guys brought over here to Eel or Isle or however it is pronounced. The Naxosians are not going to fire. The Macedonians in Rhodes apparently are going to fire, but. Let's see here. Let's have those guys brought over there. Hopefully handle them. There you go. We'll just let them tick down and, and we will we will get our armies prepared. We're going to invade over here in Sardinia. Because we need to start working through our mission tree. And if we want to get Mediterranean dominance, which requires us to own this land and over here, we're going to have to go to the war with the Outer Rim at least once or twice. And it would be nice if we can... Oh, my game crashed. One second. Well, I don't think that's supposed to be happening. We have the Neteris Faith spawning up here. The first heresy of uh, the Hellenic Pantheon. Uh, generally, it's it's a fallback because Egyptos doesn't exist and Egyptos is supposed to fire it via their mission. But if not, obviously we can have this happen. So Neterism has spawned in uh, Comagene. So that's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm just kind of taking some time to uh, get my stuff caught up because obviously uh, we lost a little bit of progress there, but that's fine. I don't know what happened there. It was a strange little bug. I promise I didn't actually like, you know, crash my game or anything. It just popped on its own. But either way, not a big deal. We're just going to work through all of our sieges over here like we were doing so, uh, so well before. And, uh, yeah. Let's see here. I don't care about a claim on Saleh. These guys are doing a little bit of unresting, so let's go ahead and get those guys handled over there. And let's get you guys brought over here. We just need to kind of handle that. As our war exhaustion goes down as well, that'll handle that. Uh, oh, crap. That means I got to get a new one. Oh, he's so bad. Unfortunate. All right, we'll, we'll keep him then. He's only 44. No big deal. Yeah, we're just going to kind of wait on our uh, unrest to go down and then we will get scheming to uh, get to war with Sardinia, as I said before. I was so rudely interrupted by that crash. Let's go ahead and get these guys upgraded. I don't have Memphis. Did I have Memphis before and it? I lost it to... I did. Did it? Did I lose it to... <laughs> I lost it to Rebels, didn't I? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> that. Ah, uh, that's tragic. Rip Macedonia. So, yeah, we have the Reformation spawning here. I don't know. I think Athens should be getting a counter proclamation here eventually. Absolutism and autonomy change. Very good, very good, yes. I want to upgrade this guy as well. It's not high enough development, so I guess we'll just 
code with upgrading these guys over here. Help us propagate a bit more trade power upstream. Oh yeah. Unrest is good. Or our unrest is managed good, is what I mean to say. So we will get ready here. They got a three-star general, so I do need to be mindful of that. But they only have 13 troops, so I'm not actually too fussed about that. They have a mil tech. Oh my gosh, they're only on mil seven. So that means I could have mil eight? Tentatively. We are finished with this. Oh, the leader siege pip. Nice, ooh, baby. All right. Get the navy over here. Clearly, I think we are going to have the naval edge. But I do need to... There are no ships in your fleet to be upgraded. Feels good, man. Put you guys over here. I think navally we're going to be fine. We do have to probably just forfeit that over there. Oh, radical reforms. I thought I already had it. Nice. I'll, I want to keep them both, so I'll just, you know, you fire them and then you pop the event and then you, you're you good to go. Um, I'd like to rehire him good yeah inflation reduction is nice i don't care about a little bit of unrest let us yoink as i was doing before uh-huh 10 percent goods produced is very solid i'm gonna take that we'll take diplotech when we are able to athens is preparing to attack macedonia <laughs> goodbye <laughs> all right cool so we are about to go to war uh with those guys everybody and their brother will join we will probably separate piece. Oh, Aravia won't join. So that's actually kind of ideal. What is their highest def province over here? It's going to be their capital. And our uh, Arvadis. So let's go ahead and do that. Bring these guys in. And we should be able to just siege them down. They're going to take that land over there. I, you know, I don't really care. All is well with that. Taking forever to get over there. Let's have you guys brought up here. This is our first war with the Adarim as well. Lots of wars going on. <laughs> this series has been pretty action-packed. That's one of the things. It's like a, a genuine complaint that I've received quite a few times in, a, in involving post Phenom is that people say that uh, blobbing is too prevalent. And I, I tend to agree. Um, I would like to see pacing be a little more reasonable but uh you know the mod is, is still pretty fresh so we'll see what we can do with that these guys will i'll have them land over here and just defend uh obviously i don't want um i do not want them sieging me down so let's have you guys hunt enemy fleets in the mediterranean because remember we do have our um our naval doctrine here which is giving us plus two movement speed so they will be able to catch out basically anybody i say as they jump around and miss a bunch of fleets but yeah look at this oh my gosh uh-oh roma where's your navy baby oh where'd they go stinky oh there's the more roman fleet salt crisis feels bad we've sunk 45 ships and i have lost zero swaby has lost a couple but that is a price that i am willing to pay uh improved relations is not worth in my opinion not worth. Yeah, I just don't want them blockading me. That does devastate my lands a bit. Obviously, I do not want that. Yeah, I need a fort here. It is what it is. Come on now. There you go. Sink their navy. Steal some ships, I guess. Let's just... Um, have you guys detach the transports, hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean, and then my transports will get another guy. We'll have them brought over here. That way they'll, if they attack me, which would be very ballsy, A, they have to go through a very solid um, general and then also, or admiral, and then they also need to deal with my boys reinforcing or very fast. Um, doesn't look like it's spawned yet. So we're going to have to just go ahead and take this. Colonialism has been having a tendency to spawn a little later in the mod. So I got to be mindful of that. Probably going to end up tweaking some numbers. Um, I guess we just march on Rome then. Yeah. I can't imagine Roma is feeling too frisky here. They've got a big army. But um, so do I. So do I, good sirs. So let's see here. Do I have mill access? 
They do. There we go. Who else is in this war? Ah, these guys are giving them a fort. Okay. A debate, you say? An inquisitor? I don't think so. I don't need missionary stuff. Advisor stuff is always good. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. That's really good. Heck yeah. Annex, diplo co annex vassal cost is always nice. Could do some culture conversions. Diplomats are always nice as well. Spy network. Uh, I think we'll just go with the uh, with this one. Advisor cost is always nice, and then autonomy change is nice. Reform progress growth is great. So let's just go ahead and, uh, and and work through that then. It's fine with me. Mobilize a province. Oh wow, a little bit of a little bit of gain there. Uh, Republican tradition, zero Republican tradition. I can afford that. I think. The crown land, fine. We've got plenty, 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 and plenty more to go. Look at that. Speaking of, look at this. I'm not even going to be min maxi about it. I'm just clicking buttons. And just like that, we'll go from 44 up to 45. Ain't nothing but a thing, baby. But uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on riding it out. Luckily for us, we are um, we're pretty solid. And it doesn't look like they're going to be sending any men over here to fight us. So I would love to full annex these guys. Oh, <laughs> the AE is pretty bad. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do here. I could vassalize them. That would cost us a lot less. Yeah, I think that's the move. That's okay. We've got other vassals to worry about. And then in seven years, we'll attack these guys in Carnutia and uh, Pictonia. We'll get some cores given back to them. So, you know, I think we've got a plan here. Let's just go ahead and go speed five just a little bit. How do I have so many light ships? Why are you guys all in this fleet? You should probably be in a different fleet. Let's have, have you protecting trade. Actually. Let's have you guys privateering. Italia. Oh, oh, oh that's good. Promote a minister, huh? A general on 50 mil mana? Sounds good. I'd love to get that mil tech cost. Or mil tech. Handsome Diplomana, say less. Say, say less. Here you go. We are now ahead of time on multiple technologies and will soon be on admin as well. Life is good. Let's have you guys convert or uh, peace out. Give me your money and all that stuff. We'll siege down Roma here. Let's have these transports blockading over here. I don't think that they want any smoke, even if it is from a transport. At least that's what it appears to be. Uh, I'm going to take tech first here. Great Cypher of Yarebal Harim. Uh, yearly Corruption or Prestige. Well, I guess I'll go with the Corruption because I don't have any Prestige issues. But here we go. Now we will take Roma. We will now get you guys carpet sieged. I will now peace out said Adoram for all of his money. Punicum, you got to give up on them. That's fine. Oh, gosh. I didn't even realize what was going on over here. So right now I could attack these guys using the Gallic Wars, but that would only get me the France area. So I think they just need to be a regular conquest. Oh, they, the AE is going to be pretty bad. Let's see here. What kind of claim? What kind of province is Barcinum? Of course, then. I will go for my claim on Barcinum. And uh, we will get this one done shortly. Punicum is going to have to get pieced out. But I should be able to just land men on their capital and, and siege them down. Um, I guess we just keep him. Yeah, he's fine. He's young. The, the extra mana is always nice. Oh, we missed it. There you go. The Adoram was actually just assassinated here. And uh, we now have a federal incident. Again, I can't join one. Well, even if I wasn't in the war, I wouldn't be able to join one. But that means there might be some chaos going on, and I may be able to snag these guys in the meantime. If uh, the, the Adoram is, is not feeling too well, we'll see. We'll see how things go. It's going to take a couple of months to kind of let it let things sort wi start, start winding up. And they'll figure out where they're going with that. 
Okay. Got these guys. Get them occupied. Life is good. A workshop. Sounds good. I can do that. No, I will not do that. We got rebels popping on my occupation. I don't want that. Man, these guys are going to make me peace out like everybody separately. So dumb. They're all like one province miners as well, which makes it way more annoying. It's fine. I'll hold on to these occupations. Actually, no, I'll just piece these guys out because I can get lots of money. If I separate piece everybody, it's a ton of money for us. And then it is really just a bunch of small nations that we can occupy. So it should be fine. We'll just rip through this real quick. Speed five it. Yeah, I'm not worried about the great project. Did they change the icon? I swear it wasn't like that before. I want to keep my uh, Republican tradition up if I can. Sack of Luca. Money for professionalism. Sounds good. Carnutia will lose some more exhaustion or not. I don't give a rip about Carnutia. What do you guys think? This is a game? This ain't a game, boys. This is a way of life. This is a way of life. Execute the official. We don't have any um, corruption. So what you do is you actually get a little bit of corruption and then you lose it. That is such a nice event. It's kind of overpowered, honestly. Losing corruption with like a click is just like... It's kind of stupid, in my opinion. Internal conflicts in Persia, huh? Uh-oh, Persia doesn't sound like they're doing so well. Let's get some uh, spy network on these boys over here. And see if I can maybe... Steel maps from Macedonia, the shell of what they once were. Let's recall you. Um, I could take on their foreign debt. How funny would it be if I could end up vassalizing them? Um, so where was I at here? Let's steal maps of Phoenicia. Yes. And then I'd like to steal a map of Mesopotamia if I can. I think I am not able to. No. Need to have a unit in Phoenicia. Okay, that Syria is actually insane, though. I've never seen a Syria that big. That's crazy. That is crazy. All right. So, yeah, now we just kind of sit back and wait. My poor subject is full occupied over here. Actually tragic. All right, let's get you guys over here. Have you guys over here. Have you guys brought over Nya. And I will kill you on this fort here. I will cross over Gibraltar. Yep, thank you. They do have quite a bit of uh, of war exhaustion. Um, I will take. I will at least finish this out, and then we'll make sure we get that tech. That way, we can get our next diplo idea. Yeah, this war. This war with uh with these guys is annoying. Ferrara wants a white piece. That's actually fine with me. Let's come on over to Cunea. Get on black flagged. What? There's a fort somewhere blocking me. I just don't have access. Give me a break. Gib access, please. Thank you. Come on. Where's the fort blocking me? Who am I at war with? It's got a fort. Pisa. My goodness, I didn't even realize Pisa was in the war. Aye, aye, aye. All right, Pisa will peace out now. I'm sure they will. Thank you. Once I get on these guys' capital, I'm sure they will peace me out as well. This war lasted entirely too long. And now I can full in, or I will subjugate these guys, which is great. I'll also take their money. I will obviously instantly begin improving relations with them. And we will get over here and get these guys occupied. I will help out with their rebel issues as well. Because I'm a benevolent overlord. Keep the Adoram, I suppose. Get these guys up here. We have a mission to re-establish Sardan. Which will give us... Uh... All right, okay. I'm going to hold off on that one. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that one. Is there a league war going? Oof. Actually weak sauce. What is this? Come on, Dumnoni. Give me a break. Illyria joined, which is great. I could ally them. I could ally the Italians, and that would be my kind of in for the Empire, but... Right, these guys are over here. I can't integrate them because they have a... 
land occupied. Oh, he died. Unfortunate. It's fine. New one's pretty good. And let's go with... I'm good on tech, so I don't think we need to worry about tech cost. Let's go ahead and go with... Um... Promise war score cost, I suppose. That will allow us to take whatever we want. I cannot make it a core. Yeah, I'll take all that money. And I'll have to give this one to Swaby. I will take all of this. I'll give them this. And I will we'll full annex these guys. Oh, right. 100% war score. Damn, it's a big AE. Big AE, big AE. Okay, we'll hold off for a second. Go the reform progress growth. That's fine with me. All right, cool. I think that's a good place to call it. We will peace out of this war eventually. I will integrate these guys at my earliest convenience so I can get this mission done. This mission will get me um, a shipyard upgrade in all of those provinces. So if I state this and get, or if I state this and I add a shipyard to each province, I will get a plus four in each province for the rest of the game for first um, uh, ability to like. Uh, naval force limit so quite strong and then once we get that we need to integrate these guys I basically need to wait for the league war to kick off and then hopefully see if there's a way that I can avoid yeah I'm gonna do this all right I take it back we're gonna peace out now but I'm not going to I will not take all this land I'll just take a little bit a tasteful amount I said a tasteful amount. <laughs> We're going to take it on the yearly tick. Because I believe if I go with this guy, that'll be fine. It will be fine, chat. I don't need mill access through you guys, so let's get rid of that. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the run. I know I certainly am having a ton of fun with this. I love uh, this mod. I've put a ton of time into it, and I'm really excited that more and more people are getting... The ability to play it. The League War still hasn't popped off, which is great. We'll wait to the end of the month. Take the peace deal that we are wanting. Which is this. Sounds good. We'll keep a shorter truce. That will give me Barcinum, which is nice. It's a good province to steer from. Once I'm able to. And then... We'll core you up. I will ally these Johns. And... Colonialism is here, so we will get that eventually as well. Cool. So we should be able to join the League War if we, uh, if and when it does fire, and that should be fine and dandy. If you guys are enjoying, make sure you leave a like on the video, and don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so you get notified when these videos go up live every weekday. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Acadia, Geo, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Grover, Bubba J, Saronska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.